Aceh Ros and Diana. This is the alphabet is in from C, but uh, uh, Diana from D. Uh, I don't know because I have to uh, 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 ask to Bu uh, Diana first. Uh, who will to uh, sharing first? Up to you. <laughs> <laughs> the other said to me, therefore, I think we will to look at uh, the Ross first to sharing. After that, Bodiana uh, will be to uh, the second uh, 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 speaker. Bodiana, are you okay? Okay, okay, uh, okay bro. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, because uh, because the, the 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 academician will be to look the alphabet A B yeah, C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Diana, right? Okay. okay. And uh, the the fourth uh, question answer. Therefore, the participant, thank you very much for your joining right now. And if uh, you want to remind your friend or your uh, network for join, please, because this is free of charge only. And uh, uh, the, 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 the fifth is the, the closing remark. Therefore, we hope uh, 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 one hour and uh, 30 minutes is uh, finished, right? Okay, uh, the first. A welcoming speech once more. Thank you very much. Berjuta-juta terima kasih kata orang Malaysia for the available time. I know today and every day we are the lecturer is many program, many meeting and so on. But for the collaboration and the knowledge silaturahim, we coming uh, right now. And then I hope uh, this event uh, for the uh, uh, the first step to call, to introduce uh, between uh, uh, lecturer from Indonesia, Malaysia, and this on uh, ASEAN country, and after this event, uh, after you know uh, your your new friend uh, Budiana and Ross, I hope you can to continue to uh, make collaboration for the research collaboration for the join uh, paper and so on. I hope that mm -hmm. the report. Therefore, I will to share the WhatsApp number Buk Diana, Puan Diana to uh, Puan Cik Ros and uh, Puan Cik Ros to Diana to Pak Wawan juga. Sehingga uh -huh. saya harap, saya ini sebenarnya cuma Mak Comblang saja. <laughs> Mak Comblang itu, Puan, Mak Comblang di Indonesia dikenali orang yang tengah, orang tengah. Uh, jadi untuk mempertemukan calon uh, ni, uh, pengantin, jadi saya ni <laughs> orang tengah sajalah. Jadi pengantinnya Ibu Diana dan Puan Cik Ros. Jadi supaya berkenalan sehingga kehadapan boleh kolaborasi ditambah Pak Awan dan sebagainya. Okay, once more thank you very much for you all, participant, my student from Malaysia, from Indonesia, Jakarta, Bogor and mana-mana uh, mungkin juga dari Sotai ikut sekali. Uh, Tahniah dan uh, congratulations and let we get uh, more knowledge and uh, experience from this event today. Okay, let's we pray first before we start. Di berdoa silakan kita mulai. Bismillah. Uh, Puan Teros, uh, 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 Indah Gumilang boleh bantu your uh, uh, sharing screen if you one if you will because uh what, what you want to uh we have you uh mute mute masih mute lagi boleh okay you buy lips or you will to uh, i'm sharing prof no one eh okay you are the go first right Is it okay now? Okay, tak, Prof? Uh, bel, uh, macam yeah. belum tampak lagi. Uh, boleh try again. Okay. Ibu Diana, uh, tempat Ibu J, eh, Ibu, Puan C. Ros ini mengajar itu adalah di Universiti Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Universiti Kuala Lumpur itu sebuah universiti milik pemerintah yang wow. dikenalah secara khusus. Dan mereka punya 131 program studi. Wow. Nah, mahasiswa itu lebih dari 35 ribu orang atau 30 ribu orang lebih kurang macam itu. Dan dia ada di seluruh 
uh, provinsi di atau negeri di Malaysia. Oke. Okay. Yes, wow. right now. Right now is very clear. Your screen, uh, Poncheros. Oke. Okay. Nice. You can do that, please. Oke, okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, thank you very much, Professor, for inviting me to join for this program. Uh, it's a very good program. All right. Uh, thank you very much for the participants for joining for this program. Uh, Malaysian students and also the Indonesian students. Okay. Uh, Dr. Diana. Okay. Uh, Dr. Wawan Henry. Okay. All right. Um, Okay, uh, first of all, before I proceed, okay, uh, I just want to share my background, okay? You hold on, let me share my slide, okay. Okay, dia bro. Ah, ini cover right now. Belum lagi pergi kepada slide berikutnya. Okay, okay now. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Uh, okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name of course Jo Smarty Miki Cemat. Alright, I'm a senior lecturer at Unicare Business School, and just appoint, uh, appointed as a head of section, uh, manager of entrepreneurship last year, first of January. Okay, I'm joined UniKL since um, first of July 2019 when I came back from the um, my PhD. Okay, my journey for for the PhD. Okay, uh, my PhD focusing on the management study, which is on the strategic management. Okay, um, okay, Prof. Um, for information, uh, my study based on. Um, Uh, determinant of uh, success uh, SME in Malaysia, mm. basically. So I'm focusing on the business network, innovations, and also the dynamic capability. Okay, in fact, last time I joined the conference um, com uh, combination between Malaysia and Indonesia, and 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 uh, just sharing for you, I get um, the best uh, the best presenter last time. Okay, mm. all right. Um, Uh, my master at University of Malaya, okay, also the master in management, uh, bachelor applied economic in C of Malaya, okay, and then uh, I just joined Unicare for 2019 and previously I have uh, 15 uh. experience in industrial, okay, uh, I'm from the banking industry and also the constructions uh, and also the business specialist in the software, okay. Mm. All right, and also now currently I'm um, director of Al Ansar Travel. This is my uh, company. Okay, mm. uh, I'm started my company two zero one four. See, I'm sorry, London. Okay, and just uh, sharing for uh, this is a uh, one of uh, company Malaysian company at UK last time. Okay, uh, this company just focusing on. Um, Umrah and Hajj, bro. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We are, we're not going to uh, anywhere. Just, just focus in on Umrah and Hajj. So, mean, no. mean for one year, we have uh, three trips for the Umrah yeah. and one trip for wow. the Hajj. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. So, every year, we have uh, three trips. So, we bring all the Malaysian wow. students there. In fact, we have also the Indonesian students at oh. London, bro, last time. Right, right, right. Okay. We still have the collaboration with, with them, yeah. all right? Yeah, okay, this yeah, is my uh, email, okay, and also my contact number. You can contact me anytime, okay? All right, okay. Um, so, now uh, I believe today we just uh, focusing on the sharing the, all, the, all the experiences, all the information, okay? All right. So, uh, back to the our topic, bro. Transformations yep. of economics and... Uh, Business in the new norms. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Um. Before I go further, uh, we look at on the, um, what does it mean of transformations of economics? Okay. So means um, 
let's say you look at on this uh, slide, just explanations about the transformation of economic everything. However, my, my views, which we can see uh, in the uh, view perspective, we look at on the before uh, COVID-19, okay? Um, in the COVID-19 and the post-COVID-19, okay? we, we see lots of transformations of economics, we can see, okay? Uh, in the good side and also in the bad side. Okay, uh, that's why I have uh, um, uh, two uh, examples. I, I, I look at on the educations and also the travel uh, industries. Okay, I do comparisons uh, soon. Eh? Okay, uh, and also uh, in terms of transformations, uh, economics, and currently uh, we can see is. Uh, um, nowadays, you focus in on digital, okay? With the di digital itself, we can contact everywhere. So you can see now um, from your slide just now, we can see you have lots of uh, collaboration with the university. If it's not only Malaysia, uh, you have a Brunei. So we can do a collaboration about because of technology, okay? Mm -hmm. Last time, I believe, is very... Uh, we, we are limited, isn't it? So we are limited. Nowadays, we open to the everywhere. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. That's why uh, the new um, uh, transformation of economy, we need to, uh, we got we call that the new mindset, which is we have to brush up my mindset to, uh, to be exposed with the, the new technology. Sometimes, and myself, is we are that old generation. Normally, it's not, it's not so expert in terms of uh, technologies compared to the, our students. In fact, we are... When we are we are teaching the students, especially in the techno innovations, technology, okay, uh, technopreneurship, okay, they are more advanced compared to us. Okay, that's why we, in, in my classes, um, I'm always focusing on sharing the information. Sometimes information is coming from the students, sometimes information is coming from us. Okay, uh, that 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 the way uh, how we communicate with the students lately. Okay, uh, instead of we just we just give them lecture. Nowadays, we need um, what we call that is uh, two-way communication, which is sometimes in terms of technology, they're better than us, okay? All right. So, and then uh, the other things uh, in the current situations, uh, in terms of um, the company itself, we need to uh, strategize our company uh, in order to compete with uh, our competitors. Okay, so we have to alert with our competitors. Okay, you can see, yeah. So in this, uh, based on my slide, you can see, um, in terms of uh, transformations, last times, um, it's low productivity. Now we focus on the high productivity, which is we focus on certain certain areas to become more productive. Okay, so we implement. Uh, a lot of strategies, uh, a lot of um, uh, what we call that is um, the way how to improve our companies. Okay, that's why uh, sometimes, let's say, um, uh, I'm sharing for cross last time, but when I'm doing the uh, the my PhD, so uh, one of my variable is business networks. Okay, so surprisingly, prof, last time when I'm uh, in the based on the Based on the um, what we call that the journals, the, our readings, okay, shows that the business network contribute to performance. However, when um, go for the implementations, go to the Malaysian industries, okay, in, in, in Malaysian culture, shows that there is no contribution from there is no contributions oh. to the uh, from performance last time. However, I believe, uh, uh, let's say I'm doing research now for my um, uh, current research for the, this uh, dynamic, uh, sorry, for the business network, I believe now is there will be positive uh, relationship. Because we previously, uh, the reason why there is a negative relationship because of uh, most of uh, small medium enterprises uh, waiting for funds from the government, okay? We are not bothered about the networks. We are don't. Uh, we are um, not so eager to know about their, their friends, their competitors, uh, the uh, the outsiders. They just focus on their business and waiting uh, fun for the government. 
last time. So, but now I believe, let's say um, the same thing, the same topic, uh, but then different situations, I believe the business network, there will be contribute more, more, um, um, what, what, what I call it is um, contribute to for performance. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's very important to build a relationship with the others. Okay. Okay, the other things uh, last time is a low prosperity. Now we go to high pros prosperity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, just now when uh we uh talk about uh, transformations, uh in terms of economy. So I, uh, focusing on digital economics. As I said just now, um, because of um. Uh, rapid changes in terms of technology advance. Okay, even though we have now is industry 4.0 and robotic, renewable energy, everything is uh, everything, every single industry they will be uh, digitalized. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, okay, they're based on the economic goods. And then sometimes, um, in fact, we go to the let's say we are going to the bank. Okay, we want to uh, uh, lend uh, some fund from them. They also, uh, even though they are focusing on quotes, for example, Prof. Okay, uh, they still look at on how you how you commercialize that kind of quotes and using the digital digitalized. This is the real thing, Prof. So once uh, you have to get the funds, you have to make sure you search that your 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 business model, okay, your business strategy, uh, more than more go to the uh, digital economies, okay, because. Um, what we are looking at, they are, they are looking on, you want to, it's not only focusing on the Malaysian industry, however, and also, for example, Indonesia industry, however, we want to go abroad, okay, we want to transfer, uh, we want to sell to our product to um, overseas, okay, last time when uh, my experience, last time when I'm doing PhDs, um, it's very, I think it's, uh, it's very rare, we can see product from Malaysians, product from Indonesians. Mm. Okay, that's why now because like because of this kind of uh, technology, okay, I believe in future there will be more our product go abroad. Okay, mm. that's why we need to focus a certain certain area so to make sure our product, our services can go abroad. Internationalization. Okay. Right. All right. So, um, education and travel industry. All right. So now um, I go for the uh, education perspective in the good side, okay? Mm -hmm. And then uh, the bad side of uh, travel, uh, uh, travel agency, why uh, COVID-19? Okay. And last time, bro, when, uh, when we look at on... Um, uh, all the journals, all the uh, studies, they try to find the factors how to uh, digitalize, how to uh, e governments, uh, e buying everything. As well. we we find a lot of factors contribute this kind of things. Okay, however, surprisingly, after COVID nineteen, transform everything means sometimes is uh, is uh, something is. Uh, just happen, there will be change everything. So now 90 percent, I, I believe ninety five percent, all the all the universities focusing on digitalized, which is um, e learning. Okay, which is we are we are we are using um, in terms of collaboration, also using the technologies. In fact, student currently in terms of feedback because now uh, Prof at uh, Indonesia now is a face to face or still online. Yes, uh, face to face already. Stay face to face. Uh, yeah. in uh, at UniKL still we some 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 they yeah, face to face some subject they will be still online. Yeah, hybrid, hybrid, yeah. hybrid, hybrid. Yes. However, bro, surprisingly, we have feedback from the students. They are prefer online. Some students. Mm. That mm. the student is considered our customer, isn't it? So we have to think about them. Okay, that's why some of some of our uh, uh programs we go online. Such as our, uh, in fact, our master's program, some, some there is, uh, they will be focusing on online itself. 
and then also the hybrid uh, hybrid technology which is we uh why we are doing classes we are doing class in lecture in the class and also we have another students from the outsiders okay sometimes and also we will invite from the uh other lecturers from the other universities okay so to join the something like uh you all new uh, programs however uh just uh so for example let's say for a supply chain subject so we invite supply chain from the lecturers for the pakistans okay to talk there about their topic so they have a something this kind of uh, collaborations for okay mm -hmm. uh, this kind of situations but they will be open the student mindset okay it's not only focus on local um um local exposure and they also have the international internet uh, international exposure in terms of everything in terms of uh, language in terms of culture in terms of technologies okay sometimes they are sharing there are lots of uh, strategies about the uh, technology sometimes um they will bring the new things okay the new collaborations to the university itself okay and then uh, the other things for the uh, for the education prof um we have um in fact um in terms of organize in terms of organization itself in terms of filing in terms of, last time we focusing on the physical which is everything is self filing isn't it so now no more so we just focusing on the uh, systems okay in terms of attendance in terms of uh, 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 filing uh, you apply uh, everything is via online okay and then, in fact, last time we have uh, audit from the we have internal audit. So audit now also via online. You just made improv. No more face to face. Last time, let's say auditor come comes into our university, so we have to show them the physicals, uh, physicals file everything. Now we just via online, which is we just show their uh, to the, our panel, our campuses, uh, our uh, 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 facilities via online only. That's the. Mm -hmm. The good things lah. and then however let's say for the travel industries so uh some of uh company especially the small company while the covid 19 will be shut down okay some of them still sustain because of uh maybe um they have changed their business profits to the certain certain to the certain businesses okay which is uh still uh, reliable some of them focus on the food okay and then some of them doing grab, some of them is a focus on the current industry. However, uh, it's not only for the backside. In this time, uh, this is my company, bro. Um, we are focusing what, how to strategize our companies, okay, mm. to become more after we come up after the COVID 19. So we boom our uh, business, which mm. is we plan for every year we plan in terms of services in terms of collaborations we we find our suppliers so we need to alert what happened to the business since uh, the, the businesses are focused on uh Uber and hatch so uh we still connect with the uh, the suppliers at uh Arab saudi okay so what happened to them okay we need to know who's uh, take over the hotel everything so we know what happened to the um to the uh, industry uh, uh, Arab Saudi, okay? And then uh, the thing is, um, because we are not big company, so um, instead of we focusing on, on our company itself, we focusing on collaborations uh, with, the, uh, with, with our competitors, which is from, um, because based on our experience, because this country is because belongs to me and my, and my husband, and our experience is uh, since our studies last time, what they are doing, they are doing consortium, okay? So now what we do in Malaysia, our, uh, our uh, companies, we do a consortium, we do a collaboration with our competitors, okay? We, we approach them, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. come collaborate with us. Okay, we we form the new consortium, which is uh ten of them. Okay, so what mm -hmm. we do in terms of uh uh in terms of we buying tickets, we will get pool. Okay, instead of we have 10, 10 customers, so let's say we have um for one hundred 
sorry, 10 companies, so we will have 100 customers. So instead of we are buying the ticket, it's only 10. So we buy in ticket is, is uh, 100, means we will get the cheaper price. And, and as same as um, with the hotel itself, okay? And then mm. the other thing, uh, we try to get collaboration with the, with the others, okay? We, we, we beat the, uh, the collaboration with, um, for example, the, the owner of uh, the hotel, uh, airplane, okay? And then uh, the, the uh, what we call it, the otai otai in the travel, oh. okay, we get them mm. as a mentor. Okay, that one is uh, increase our company's credibility, okay? Then uh, mm. we, what we are doing, is we focusing on, um, we give service to customer with sincerity, okay? That's why uh, our service, our company is normally coming from the, the existing customers, which is uh, you are the our customer for, and then you will bring your families, you will bring your friends, okay? Mm. Because of we focusing on the uh, services itself, okay? Instead of we need the money, okay? We not focusing on the money itself, and and then for just what inform you, uh, this company is. Um, uh, practice social entrepreneur, uh, social entrepreneur, um, oh, social uh, module entrepreneur. course. Mm. Uh, okay, so let's say, for example, let's say we have certain, uh, certain number, for example, we focus at 10, uh, sorry, 40, um, jemaah. So we oh. hire lagi satu, uh, maybe one or two jemaah yang tak berupaya. Ah, oh. uh, yeah, so we focus, we, we, we contribute to society. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that, 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 our scenario for. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Uh, that that I just now just talk about the uh, how to start in the company. So that, that's why I just I said now, bro. Yes, we we focus on the customers' experience, bro. So um, we try um proactive with the customers. Okay, we we need the response comment from the customers, and uh, it's not only we listen to them, but then we practice. Okay, let's say for example they comment about a certain thing, so we change it. Okay, we review it and we change it according to the customer's view. It's not, for example, it's not only one. Maybe we have a pool of uh, information for the customers. So we we try to respond to them uh, and then um, appreciate their uh, views. Well. Okay. And then, and the other things, let's say, uh, it's not only um, my company and also for the other company also. So that the way you have to make sure uh, in terms of uh, the customers, we need to uh, sensitive with them, okay? So, and then we need to provide effective and responsive customer, customer support. Last time, Prof, because I have uh, experience in the uh, Citibank, okay? I'm a customer service on Citibank first, Prof. Okay, so uh, based on the practice, uh, you know why? Uh, when the customer call uh, Citibank, okay? So we need to respond them within three minutes. Okay, why we're talking to customers? So any any complaint or customer, we have to make sure uh, we are doing their uh, complaint or their their request immediately. Bro. Even though we will we will read terms and conditions to customers, so we will respond to you within three to five working days. However, we are processed immediately. That's why the customer will get um, a fast response from the from us. Okay, and then uh, we implement something like. Um, Six sigma prop uh, is uh, zero defect. So we reduce the defect. As same as uh, we practice to our company. So um, let's say the customer call SMS, anything, we try to obey respondent immediately. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other things we, uh, so we have to create efficient and easy purchase process for the customers. So sometimes customer need something that easy. It's, it's very fast. Is they, they want to do, they want to um, go the complicated complicated process. Kalau yang kita tengok sekarang kan kita bila we need to very fast. Everything is fast. Sometimes kita pun sometimes kalau yang yang uh, bila bila company too fast kerana fast customer pun tak suka nak kerja kan? especially yang mm. professional actors lah. Okay. Mm. And then the other thing we build a personal relationship with the customer. That's why kalau let's say um, we are we are talking about the supply chain process. From the beginning to the entire process of customers, from the supplier to customers. So we should have who our key customers. Okay, mm. who our key customers. 
to make sure so we have another customer kind of lucky customers okay mm-hmm. as i and as i said just now of course we need to know the criticism from the customers itself okay mm-hmm. and then uh, look at on the uh, competition itself okay differentiate from competitions uh, we need we, we should not ignore them okay but then we need to follow them okay mm-hmm. especially it's not only um, our uh, business areas, but then we need to know others. For example, uh, our company is travel or, or uh, education, but then we need to know about the uh, the others industry. For example, as as I said, uh, technology, uh, uh, rural, okay, and then so the other thing that we we have to try what the opportunities can fit with our business. We need to alert. That's why right. um, uh, most of uh, the sustain company in the in the current market, they able to alert with the current situations. As um, I believe previously, um, we talked about the dynamic capabilities. I agree with that because uh, let's say uh, we have the kind of uh, attitude for the dynamic capability for the hour, our staff, uh, in fact, ourselves. So we need to sense what the opportunities, what the uh, in outside this ha- happen. So we after we sense, so we need to seize the, our company. We look at our uh, our capabilities, our expertise, our resources in order to um, reorganize, re-engineering our company, okay, our product, our service, okay. And then the third thing is. Um, of course, we need to adapt the technology itself. We not uh, left behind the technology sometimes because we have some of lecturers uh, that don't care about the technologies. When we say you have to use Teams, but then they, some of them you see using the, just WhatsApp groups. Oh, but then we need to educate them. We need to make sure they are follow the latest technologies. Okay, we need to follow us, even though. Uh, uh, the old patients, uh, they want to, uh, they refuse to follow, but then we need to educate them. Okay. All right. And then uh, the other things, uh, we need to always innovate to the our product or services. It's not only we innovate everything, but then we can focus a certain, certain area. Maybe we can, we can focus on the customers. We can focus on uh, our brand our logo, okay, uh, our features, okay, our, 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 uh, our structure. So uh, there's a lots of um, types of innovation we can focus in on. Maybe it is, it's up to us which, which types of uh, is suit for the, our company, all right? And then um, the other thing is um, I like touch on the uh, the improve the supply chain is improved because sometimes uh, some of organizations they don't bother about the supply chain. Okay, in fact, uh, for me, okay, um, company should focusing on this, their supply chain. Okay, the supply chain performance um, from the entire process means you have to look at on the your suppliers itself. Okay. Uh, your organizations, your staff, okay, and also your uh, customers, which is once you focus on, uh, you have to find your suppliers, a few suppliers, okay, and then you have to make sure among your supplier, you have to find what your key the suppliers, which is, is uh, <coughs> sorry, they, 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 they're able to share all the information, <coughs> they're able to give you um, uh, the special price for you, they're able to give you uh, the best product for you or the best service for you, okay? Okay, well, you have to select because let's say you have only one suppliers, okay? There is four minutes more. <laughs> oh, okay. Four minutes more, eh, Prof? Sorry. Okay, so means uh, once you have the, the key suppliers, Prof, okay, you get uh, the best results, okay? And I'm, then, I'm... <laughs> yes, then of course you will survey the customers uh, the best product for your customers and the, or services, and the customer will come back to you. And then the the important things of course, what I look at um, uh, based on uh, my experience. In fact, I got uh, the training for the coaching and mentoring process. Mm. If 
the company implement this kind of co coaching and method, especially the current pandemic Bob, I mm. believe the company will be support because you know why? Okay, mm. let's say you are the boss. Okay, you coach your your uh, your 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 superior and you mentoring them. Okay, then sometimes uh your 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 staff got uh, uh personal issues. They are unable to perform. So we we should coach them, approach them. So we we, we should we should um uh guide them. So where we want to go. So what you want to go. So we need to coach them. Go ahead. So that, that's that's why sometimes uh, staff will feel that it's oh okay, um, boss saya uh, take care of uh, uh, saya again. So there will be more okay the okay uh they can uh energy 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 take so more akan bersemangat and also let's say for a mentally is a prof let's say mm -hmm. here kita akan we are our boss we have to make sure I show the positive positive vibe to the our uh, superiors um transparent to the our superiors then they can uh bila dia serve, they serve us they can serve dengan sincere okay bila mm -hmm. ada sincerity uh the relationship between our staff dengan boss uh, believe me you will get the best result. That's mm. my experience lah. Walaupun saya sendiri lah saya dengan bos, kalau bos saya, kita akan rasa bila kita buat uh, apa uh, tugas tu, kita rasa bila bos kita ni, kita rasa bila buat tu, okay bos, saya akan buat dengan hati mm. ya. Um, mm. Ikhlas. Dan result mm. tu mesti super pro. Sebab yes. kalau kita buat dengan yang kalau bos, kalau let's say bos kita tu macam, kita dengan tak suka kan. Eh. So kita akan mm. uh, buat ala kadang, Okay, tapi kalau mm -hmm. kita buat kita suka, in fact kalau dengan saya punya um, staff pun kita do the same thing. Okay, but kita akan we get the best result, and then we 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 see the sincerity from our staff. Dia akan mm -hmm. apa apa sesuatu pun dia akan cuba nak bantu, because mm -hmm. dia believe kita. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. that, that that the best thing lah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think um, that's all my sharing from today. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Kalau itu, I... ada lagi slide yang seterusnya. Ya, nanti. <laughs> nanti timpan. Menekan. Ah, uh, rasa lebih cepat dah. Okay. Kalau kita lagi, kita dah tahu. It's very interesting. I will to join your travel to come to Umrah. Uh, yes. Eh, hey, bro. We can do collaborations <laughs> dengan Indonesia. Uh, bro. Bagus. Okay, bro. Insya Allah. Baik. Okay. okay thank, thank you very, very much, much. You are welcome. Uh, one. Jeros is very interesting. Uh, is the good uh, speaker, I think. <laughs> uh, you can to uh, yes. Board uh, sunrise. <laughs> uh, okay, right now the second speaker, Ibu Diana Fajarwati, uh, STM SM Senior Lecturer at Sanggul University, please. Okay, thank you, Prof. Reza. Good morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, everyone. Uh, Oke, okay, uh, good morning, uh, Cik Ros and Pak Wawan and Pak Gumilang who will be present for today. This is my second uh, second times to be here yeah, in the yeah. ALC and yeah, yeah after postpone uh, several time ya, yeah, Prof. Yeah, and I'm so happy. <laughs> postpone yes. several yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was born several times and so <laughs> happy uh, to meet uh, you, Cik Ros. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, okay. we have the same background. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, I cannot share my file, just share screen, yeah. It's no problem. I can uh, uh, hmm. use... Very clear, my... very clear. Yeah, okay. Yeah, first I want to introduce myself. Uh, currently, I'm the digital. I'm the director of the digital campus. This is the new business, the newborn baby of Esa Unggul University yeah. <laughs> that will be focusing in the, the online uh, learning program. Hmm. Uh, I have like the same background uh, with Ross. I came mm -hmm. from the industry. I'm new, actually the new uh, comer in the uh, educational uh, area. Yes, mm -hmm. I came from the market industry, uh, market research industry, Chiros, and okay. also I still uh, running my company in the marketing uh, uh, consulting, and also I'm the trainer, specialist in digital marketing and uh, the business analytics because uh, uh, previously I'm uh, a smart researcher. 
And also, uh, you already finished your uh, PhD, and this is my uh, fourth year. I'm so impressed. I think that's uh, not uh, finished yet. And Yes, yes. The background is the same with you. I think uh, strategic management in University of Indonesia. So I'm very, uh, and I uh, we have the the same uh, interest in uh, the research. I also yes, yes. Uh, my research is pre, uh, I'm researching in also in the uh, what dynamic capability area, especially. Okay. Yes, because I'm in the researcher industry, so I'm focusing in the market sensing. So this mm -hmm. is, uh, I, uh, of course, you know that uh, dynamic capabilities have three uh, major area, and one of yeah. them is the market sensing. Now I'm uh, focusing in the market sensing uh, area, and more specifically, uh, uh, is how to build the digital uh, data processing in the mm. uh, company uh, so company can uh, what is it can uh, strengthen the market sensing capability uh, yeah i will contact you maybe you will be my 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 uh, supervisor informal supervisor <laughs> uh, when is my dissertation uh, uh, soon yes yeah. <laughs> yes of course you bet we can <laughs> research yeah, thank you, thank you, Prof. Uh, Prof. Reza, uh, to yeah to be mak comblang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think it's uh, yeah. Nah, yang kebetulan ya. Yeah. This is the power yeah. of silaturahmi, and then yeah. I yes. Uh, thank yeah. And current and before uh, assign as the director in the teacher campus, uh, I'm the faculty member of. Uh, in the faculty business and economic economic and business in Esau University and and currently I'm also active in certain organization professional organization in business Apindo Apindo is like uh, the big uh, organization for all the businessmen in Indonesia like Kadin ya yeah? like uh, commerce, chamber of commerce uh, and I'm the head of the resort in the Apindo and also I'm active in the committee of Indonesian Strategic Management Society. Of course, you know the name. Uh, this is like the 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 the, the global name and uh, and we have like the the Indonesian Indonesian uh, Strategic Management Society is also part of the Indonesian Management uh, Society in global. Uh, because this is uh, we have a journal the most the what is the most uh, sophisticated and the most premium journal in strategic management is uh, issued by strategic management society, right? Yeah. So I'm very happy today. Okay. Mm. Yes. Uh, yeah. I think uh, Parisa, uh, uh, you arrange uh, the better sequence uh, after G. Ross uh, explaining about the digital transformation because I know. Uh, I guess that uh, the the speaker will be uh, talk uh, uh, about the the digital transformation. So I will jump in into like uh, how we develop, uh, how uh, we implement the digital uh, transformation. So uh, about the digital transformation, one of uh, the uh, uh, the most important thing is how we make innovation. And I will, I will. From my slide is now. Yeah, yeah. Continuity from my slide is 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 very good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. This is yes. Continue. Uh, uh. Yes. Uh, continue the uh Chiros uh slide because this is like the technical implementation about the business transformation. Is of course Chiros is understand well about a one of the brands in the strategic management called as ambidextrous uh, strategy. So let's talk what is ambidextrous strategy and. Uh, please, uh, Ross, uh, you, uh, of course, uh, uh, more. No worry, no worry, Jenna. <laughs> no worry, no worry. Okay. I'm learning, so, I'm learning. Yeah, why uh, uh, understanding about the ambidexterity is uh, uh, very important. Uh, we know that today we live in the digitalization 
and when the organization is live in the ambidextrous environment. So what is ambidextrous environment? <laughs> The, uh, where, uh, in the ambitech experiment is the environments or the global environment that is uh, there are two uh, two condition yeah we live in the stable uh, the, uh, everything is like uh, doing the same like uh, uh, especially currently that uh, prof reza call us the new normal is we we like uh, come to uh, back to the new normal the student come to the school, the university student come to, uh, for the face-to-face -face program, uh, people also come to the market, to the bank, and yes, everything like stable. But uh, we also have uh, another uh, challenge rapidly changing. Uh, the, world, uh, 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 the world always changes, right? But in the digitalization, it's more... Uh, rapidly in changing in term of volatile, more volatile, more uncertain. We don't know uh, what uh, happen in the next uh, five years. Everything uh, currently uh, is very, very different with the five years ago, right? So we don't know what happened in the 2020, uh, uh, 2020, uh, 2025 or 2030, because it's very complex and very ambiguity, very, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, in the industry, there is no clue. Even in the in the education, uh, we also like, what happened in 2023? Is it the same condition uh, currently or everything is changed uh, uh, in the next five and uh, uh, 10 years? And yeah, and the, uh, the and the changing is uh, going faster and faster. So uh, this is what we call as the ambidex uh, environment. In the ambidex environment, uh, we uh, manager uh, main uh, the contradiction. Yeah, I mean that they they uh, they face the stable environment and they also face the changing environment. In the stable environment is uh, characterized by low uncertainty. Everything is like the same and low risk and but intense competition. The competition is get, getting uh, larger, getting bigger, getting much newcomer in this industry. And uh, the so the, the manager uh, should have like the continuous improvement, uh, always, uh, always improve, always innovate. What uh, must be in, uh, improved is the better service. Yeah, just improving what a service, what the product that currently have uh, to to be better, 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 to be uh, more efficient, uh, cut cost, and yeah, maybe the tools is what. Uh, Ross uh, just mentioned as uh, using like the Six Sigma. Yeah, Six Sigma is how, how uh, we can more uh, efficient in production, efficient in service, zero defect, zero failure, and so on. And on the other hand, this, the manager and the owner, yeah, the business also uh, facing the very fast changing environment. Yeah. That's uh, characterized by very uncertainty, very high risk. There's something like need disruptive competition. Uh, the new uh, comers uh, come to uh, the market that gives trap and everywhere. Like uh, currently, uh, uh, five years ago, we don't we don't know uh, about uh, copay. Uh, in Indonesia, uh, uh, about the digital payment is very, 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 very uh, fast uh, changes, right? Uh, and uh, we we currently have like many uh, changes in the financial and also in the education and, and many others area. So in the very changing environments, manager not only just improve continuously what uh, uh, existing service, but and they have my, uh, like a continuous improvement mindset. I mean, that they must uh, have new uh, service, new product, 
that need uh, to be uh, to prepare uh, to uh, I mean that to answer the uh, exchange in the environment. So uh, because the the changing is very very fast, so uh, we also must emphasize in the fast in for innovation. This is not uh, cannot. Uh, wait on uh, the process innovation in the long, long, uh, long uh, uh, time development. Uh, I will uh, give the example uh, how GA managing the uh, it, the ambidexterity environment uh, later. So uh, this is uh, we need like the balance uh, about the exploitation strategy. Yeah. Uh, how the existing uh, business uh, survive by managing uh, the stable environment the, uh, by uh, efficient, more efficient, and exploit exploration strategy. How they develop new business model, uh, exactly new what uh, 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 that they have uh, currently. Yeah, uh, uh, this is not uh, the new the new concept actually. I mean that not not the concept that happened uh, to answer the digitalization or the uh, or the uh, post pandemic strategy. The concept is already happened in the early of twenty ten. Yeah. And uh, and uh, already adopted by many university. So uh, this other one of uh, and the publication that I put here is Ambidexterity is the art of thrift, uh, thriving in a complex environment. How the business uh, still grow in the complex environment, and one of the uh, company that success uh, to implement the Ambidexterity strategy as PNG, uh, this is the big company, yeah, the big uh, company, because uh, uh, usually in the small company is more uh, flexible and uh, more easy to change, right? But for the big, it's very, very difficult uh, how they can uh, face the big uh, changes in the environment. And uh, so uh, the GS, uh, uh, PNG GA is one of the company that success until now because they have like ambidexterity strategy. They are strengthening their core core business and in the same time they renew uh, what is this continue of the service and the product and uh, try to build the new service and the new product. And yeah, uh, for easiest to know, uh, for us to understand what is the ambidextrous strategy is like, this is uh, apa ya, ini namanya Dewa Jenis ya, uh, mm -hmm. one of the name of the Dewa in the Greek uh, history. And they have like the two fish uh, in the back and the, in the front. So uh, yeah, kita bisa melihat sesuatu yang saat ini in the, or in the past, and also they have capability to see uh, far, far uh, in the future. And all we can, uh, apa ya, membuat analogy, the, the analogy like the basketball players. The basketball player, the good basketball player is, and they should have, they should uh, have ability to use their two hands uh, in simultaneously. So, uh, yeah, uh, this, this is, the talents of current uh, uh, company, how they can uh, have the capability to efficient and also to innovate because this is a two uh, of contradictory uh, uh, strategy, two contradictory challenges on the company. So uh, yeah, by the, the theoretical, what is the ambidexterity strategy? Ambidextrous strategy is the ability to apply multiple approach of strategy, either concurrently or successfully, since many uh, firms operate in more than one strategic environment at once. So we have uh, many challenges. So uh, the company must have like multiple approach of a strategy. Mostly, this is applicable for the large business. For the most business, uh, small business is 
no problem with the uh, uh, exchange because they can exchange with the low risk, right? But for the big company, uh, if the, uh, uh, for example, like Pertamina or Petronas that currently focusing in the uh, full, yeah, minyak, yeah, and when they will change the business, oh, uh, yeah, they must uh, secure uh, banyak sekali pegawai yang harus dipertimbangkan so uh, uh, ambiguity is uh, very 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 applicable uh, for the large business which operate in multiple environment that change quickly over the time uh, like currently so uh, there are four approach in the update strategy the first is separation strategy i mean that uh, we the, the company Uh, and they have the department that uh, uh, focusing in the exploration or focusing in the uh, finding the new uh, revenue model, the new business model. I will uh, I will uh, uh, deep, uh, to uh, detail uh, in the in, in this uh, what so, uh, approach one. And the letter is switching strategy. I mean, that is, I think it's not applicable for the big company. Switching strategy is intentionally, we switch our strategy. For small company, it's okay. They can switch easily because it's low risk. But uh, imagine for the big strategy in the big company, of course, it's not applicable. And all they can uh, self-organizing. I mean, that empower a certain units, certain individual to uh, choose the appropriate uh, styles that applicable for them, or we use like the external uh, uh, resource, external uh, yeah, source, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, uh, the most, the most uh, common uh, applicable for ambidextrous strategy is the number one is the separation strategy. But how they develop the team uh, for the separation? We, uh, we have uh, this is because this is like the most problem uh, for the company. Actually, uh, majority in the company have like the functional design like this, yeah. The manager or the director, and then they have manu manufacturer manager or um, uh, manu manufacturer team, sales team, SR team, marketing team. And uh, this is uh, uh, existing existing uh, existing uh, organization. One we have like uh, ambidex uh, strategy. Uh, they can use like uh, and the, uh, the red side we, we call as unsupported team. Yes, they have like the small business that dedicated for the exploring emerging business, but not supporting the team uh, in this uh, part. This is like, yeah, uh, less likely not success, yeah, because uh, they have like uh, not uh, enough team to support. Uh, yeah, uh, usually there are two kind of how. Uh, uh, business uh, operate uh, for the uh, ambitex strategy uh, for the cross functional team i mean that uh, the ambitex uh, unit uh, or the unit that uh, finding the emerging business is uh, like the unit but the team also uh, use uh, the existing team i mean that Uh, we 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 take a one or two team from the manufacturer, team from the sales, and team from the R&D, and then uh, all grouping in the team that uh, doing the emerging business. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is like uh, more efficient uh, for the business, but uh, because uh, of the team is also focusing from the existing uh, business that very different nature from the Uh, emerging business, uh, this uh, cross-functional team is also not work well on the ambidextrous uh, strategy application. And how to be good ambidextrous uh, strategy application is the company should have like <coughs> separate unit. Uh, and they're doing existing unit, of course, with the full team, 
and uh, they also preparing uh, the emerging unit and with the uh, specification in manufacture sales R and D depend on the functional that needed for this business and they are focusing uh, for the emerging business. Uh, Pertamina uh, have like uh, amidectric strategy. Currently, uh, uh, this beside Pertamina actually uh, defined by uh, Director Hulu, Director Hilir. Right? Mm. Director Hulu is the, the person that uh, responsible for exploration uh, and uh, uh, refinery, yeah, kilang. And the director Hiller is for the pump bensin, pump bensin yang SPBU ya, SPBU yang ada atau mungkin penjualan Petronas dan lain-lain, Petro uh, apa, oli dan lain-lain gitu ya. Uh, and now uh, Pertamina have like the unit that uh, for the emerging business, for the energy terbarukan, for baterai, and the unit is separate from the existing uh, business. And yeah, and because uh, what uh, what what they call is uh, why we need like different uh, unit in uh, uh, to implement the ambidextrous strategy because uh, the 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 focusing is different between exploration and exploitation. For the exploration, we focus it in the long run, maybe not not have like revenue or profit for currently and searching new structure new system so we must thinking out of the box we might, we we should not uh, uh, impact by uh, current uh, business wise that we uh, uh, adopt currently we must innovate it and we must risk taking and we must experiencing uh, we must uh, finding finding a new uh, way Uh, to uh, to find the new uh, revenue stream on the new business model for our business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah, and yeah. So uh, the manager uh, have like the two type uh, knowledge from uh, this activity. So they have like exploitative and ex uh, ex uh, experimentative. Yeah, this is a, a quick uh, glance uh, the example from the GA. We know that GA is very successful uh, uh, business in uh, in the world with more than three hundred thousand people as the uh, uh, inform as the employee on the GA around the world and have many many business. Uh, from the healthcare, aviation, power and water, energy management, and etc. and services also. And uh, be, uh, before 2018, yeah, have a uh, 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 very popular CEO, Jack Wells, and Jack Wells is one of the implement MBTX strategy. Uh, strategy. So yes, as I mentioned that GA is facing the two intense competition, Uh, uh, the trade for the product discontinue, and so uh, they they are uh, they must implement the ambidexterity strategy, traditional approach for innovation, impassing for the improve improvement for current uh, product and services, and what uh, uh, Ross said that they are one of the good implementation in the six big sigma for the planning project for uh, managing the uh, production and the operational. And also GA is implement uh, the, uh, they're changing, the, uh, they, they're facing the changing environment. They must explore, uh, uh, have the exploration uh, strategy. So how they use uh, the ambidexterity strategy. And they hire, one of the famous uh, famous uh, name in the strategic management yeah eric race is uh, uh, very familiar with the lean startup the lean 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 is langsing gitu ya startup that langsing ya kan langsing and uh, why we call as langsing because uh, uh, if uh, we use like the current approach in product development usually One product is developed for many many years, uh, five or ten years before 
it's alone in the market. Uh, in the current uh, situation, uh, the 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 product development uh, process is not applicable anymore because the the changing is uh, fast. So Eric Ries is uh, have like the framework. Uh, this is the framework was uh, Lean Startup. Instead of uh, they start from the planning, they start from the build. So for the first is not plan, but build with minimal viable product. Product that, yeah, this is like a uh, like prototype, but they, on, they, they are not uh, developing in the laboratory. They're developing in the market prototype with the very minimal viable and then launch to the market and then with the of course with the appropriate price right because the the the, the product development is not set not uh developed well and then uh and and then evaluated uh what uh need to change and what need what feature is not work what feature is, and uh, must be add, and then uh, yeah, uh, by measure yeah, uh, uh, based on the feedback of the market, and then they learn and they learn and uh, they use uh, the feedback from the market to uh, build the new uh, version of the product. Uh, uh, okay. Beta yeah, beta product yeah, we call it beta product yeah. So we 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 always change change, but this is not in the laboratory uh, uh, process yeah. This is in the market process. So of uh, always uh, change uh, the acceptance in the market. Okay, five minutes yeah. more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is uh, we call as fast work yeah, fast work uh, in a GA call as fast work is like a set or two. Uh, kit and um, uh, sorry, I'm forget. And then uh, uh, now uh, they uh, move from the uh, uh, developing like minimum viable product, yeah, uh, that uh, fit with the current uh, business uh, problem and always change things based on the uh, feedback from the customer. From the right. Yeah, and this is like uh, one of example of the product from GA. And also, what happened in, edu in education? I mean, I will uh, just reveal uh, some strategy from our university. Uh, yeah, not not as big as you, and uh, that have more than 30,000 30, yeah, uh, uh, students. As Angul currently uh, housing for, uh, for uh, 16, uh, not include the new student just coming uh, for this year. 16,000 uh, students and very aggressively uh, uh, explore, ex expanding the market. Uh, uh, within uh, five years, ESA will have four campus uh, and uh, campus uh, in the, in the yeah, head office head, head in the Jakarta and then a new campus in Tangerang, new campus in Bekasi, and also the international campus in Garting Serpong. And yeah, what is uh, the digital campus is uh, digital campus basically is very different, different business model from the existing uh, uh, campus. Yeah, we, we, yes, we start with the online degree program, but not uh, stop uh, for services for the online degree program. We will explore another, another business model like currently, we are collaborate with the Arizona State University, one of the big uh, public university in USA. And uh, majority, uh, we developing uh, the digital learning, and yeah, uh, will will provide um, the mocks, yeah, mock massive open online course, and also we will also uh, provide this business to business service. I mean, we will have other university 
to develop their online uh, uh, learning program. So the, uh, it's very different with the existing business model from the uh, existing SA Unggul that only, I mean that, yeah, uh, how SA Unggul have revenue is just from the student that enroll as a uh, mahasiswa, right? But for uh, the digital campus, uh, we, we try to explore many other source of revenue. Of course, that uh, still related our core capabilities in the higher education. This is my last slide. Thank you for sharing. And, yeah, very yeah. good. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very much. Now, let's we go to the question answer. I will to read the question from my email to uh, Rose and to Miss Diana too. Hey, Rose, uh, I will to read question from Leah to you. This is a uh, two question I choice. Uh, I am very uh, interesting uh, of one uh, Rose presentation regarding transformation of economic and business in the new normal era. Especially regard SME in Malaysia, what happened right now after COVID pandemic? Uh, many SME in Indonesia grew to next level, but many too uh, SME to stuck because threat use digital platform. What the phenomena in Malaysia? Okay, the second uh, about high productivity. I am very agree. We know SMA uh, contribution to uh, G, uh, GDP is uh, uh, very interesting in Indonesia, I think in Malaysia too. Um, and uh, mean many workers is less work uh, by digital uh, technology. What we will do regards uh, what is uh, uh, about uh, new uh, workers to the futures. This uh, many uh, people is non-job. <laughs> this is the good question, I think. Okay, now uh, the question for the Ibu Diana from Harry. Uh, very great to know you are the director of digital uh, campus of Esa Unggul. Okay, based of uh, result, um, Richard, University Indonesia, more uh, 60 uh, percent students university like learn by digital right now, not by physical only. What happened uh, about model of learning to the future? Is there more effectively by digital for less negative impact of campus community atmosphere? <laughs> okay. Uh, regards uh, stable chain and uh, stable and uh, chain of environments. What your advice for student university to change of their paradigm when they will come to new digital era? This is two question for two uh, speaker, but you must be to answer around five to seven minutes only. <laughs> okay, please. One Rose first. Yeah. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, thank you very much, Professor, and the uh, uh, participant that uh, asked the questions. Okay, the first question related to the what happened to the uh, SME in Malaysia. Yep. Okay, uh, <clears throat> based on new perspective, okay, uh, uh, the new views of uh, the current situations in Malaysia, yeah. we can see that is uh, uh, most of them is more digitalized, which is even though um, Makcik yang jual nasi lemak pun sekarang, mm -hmm. so sometimes uh, we, they, they already um, uh, promote their uh, product Digitalized. Some some of them even even we have the special um special uh, uh, companies. It is as um they are promote their product via Instagram. So I mean, uh, in fact, I have a uh, interview a few 
SMEs, a uh, few companies, which is according to them, uh, even though it's COVID-19 is uh, some of, uh, they have some negative feedback, uh, mm -hmm. but for them, uh, currently it's more, uh, more businesses, which is, uh, let's say last time, they just go to the customer directly. We go to template, now they just get their customers via phone, mm. digitalized, via Instagram, via Facebook. Uh, that's why now they more exposed that kind of situations. Then they will get more customers. In fact, yesterday, when I go to the saloon, okay, the, the uh, why we are doing uh, the, the customers, they are, in theory, the customers are as new customers comes comes in. So uh, they ask the customers where you get my numbers, where you get my contacts. Because uh, the customer says that um, they want from the Instagram. Mm. So mm. They, they are not promote. We not go to the customer now. Customer go to the to the uh, company mm. itself. Uh, that yes. new, new era, yeah. That that what I can see lah. And then this is my experience to uh, we interview them with uh, several company. In fact, from the Jana Si Lemak. And then mm. uh, saloon, and then uh, in fact the big companies phones the summer, okay. And then and uh, now uh, they uh, more mercer the big customer, which is um, they uh, bila dia dah communicate kan, po, dia jadi macam kan kita akan jadi yeah, uh, yeah. okay lah, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. then kalau yang company besar pula dia dia yang 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 medium ni dia akan more communicate uh, network dengan dia ada customers dengan dia punya competitors jadi dia punya dengan secara tak langsung dia punya bisa tu berkembang cuma macam sekarang lah kita ada collaboration macam sekarang ni automatically saya punya uh, company even university even my company pun automatically akan di dengar semua sub semua orang kan okay. that the way now we we promote our companies and in fact for the other these companies lah okay yeah. and then uh, the other things related dengan yang macam mana nak improve uh, yang sekarang kan so uh, yeah. my views prof and then what we our university implements now we are keep train our staff mm. so we have lots of uh, program uh, to train staff the first such as we have digitalized punya program Okay, in fact, last week we have digitalized. We were exposed to the, our employees to digitalize. And then on that uh, last Friday, we have a mentoring and coaching for them, a program. So we mm. keep have the training to make sure our staff is confident enough to face the current situations. And in the futures, it's not only focus on the current, but then we focus on the futures. So uh, we plan ahead what going to be in the futures. Mm. Uh, that, that, the, that, that, um, uh, the way how to improve our company. Yep. Okay? Yep. Okay, right. good. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Good answer. Okay, Ibu Diana, you are. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Prof. Reza. Wow, Harry, it's very, very wonderful uh, question. I hope I can answer well uh, your two <laughs> questions. Yeah, uh, one of the first is, uh, yes, uh, not only from university in Indonesia, based on many, many, many uh, research, that majority, yeah, uh, uh, the student currently is more uh, like uh, to uh, learn by online rather than uh, for the uh, physical. Uh, yes, this is like stimulating by the pandemic, right? Uh, and uh, how about the model uh, for the learning in the future? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we call as uh, uh, we don't know what happened in the five, in the uh, ten years, uh, uh, in the future. Yeah, but uh, currently we know about the flip learning. We know about the AI. Yeah, I want to uh, emphasize about the flip learning uh, yes. because uh, what what is the flip learning uh, for the traditional? Uh, uh, approach in the class and uh, the teacher is teach yeah I mean that they, they, this is marketing blah 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 and then uh, student uh, doing the homework in the home the flip learning is flip change in the in a uh, student uh, uh, learn in the home uh, as the chief Ross uh, said yeah, because student is now empowered by many 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 resources and I think uh, the teacher, the uh, the the uh, knowledge of the teacher is cannot, nggak bisa mengimbangi what uh, yeah. the information from the outset, right? Mm. And uh, and the class we doing the homework, 
So this is like the change. Uh, uh, getting the the knowledge is from the uh, outside the class and uh, in the class. In the class, I mean that not always uh, in the physical class. Yeah, I mean uh, class is also can be uh, we we doing like the online class by in the Zoom. And the teacher must facilitate for the discussion for the case base. And the, uh, this is uh, yeah uh, in the digital campus. This is not only transform from the face to face and uh, for the online uh, with the same methods. Of course, we need different methods. Not, I mean, it not not uh, for the face to face as uh, the lecture as uh, give the material and then uh, after this the student doing the homework and then the and the lecture grading and not and is not, and not that applicable anymore in the uh, in the for, uh, online learning. But that we also need to change how uh, we uh, pedagogical, yeah. Uh, to change how uh, uh, yeah uh, yeah one of is using the uh, flip uh, learning uh, methodology. And what will next? Yeah, we will have AI and uh, so on. So uh, uh, currently we are starting in the yeah, I mean that masih belajar ya. Yeah? Not have uh, like exactly how to uh, adapt AI, VR for the laboratorium. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can you uh, even like the study program that need physical laboratory uh, can also uh, offering by online because the laboratory can use uh, by uh, VR by metaphors and so on. This is like what happened in the uh, in the uh, education in the future. And the second answer is, I think, uh, and the second question is, uh, yes, a good question also. How uh, the implementation for the student, for the ambidexterity strategy, as we uh, said that we, uh, you face the two, the stable and the changing. The stable currently, you know that uh, the graduate from the university, of course, have opportunity bigger than and the graduate from the SMA, right? So, uh, and the GPA, IP also uh, like one of the key uh, you enter for the uh, certain uh, company, right? So, I mean that, yeah, you, you still have uh, maintains what uh, requirement for a good student for currently, lulus uh, cepat, and then have a good uh, IP, uh, GPA ya, IP gitu ya, indeks prestasi, and then you have another uh, capability, uh, you have like another uh, supporting uh, capability that uh, supporting your own uh, degree ya, uh, not only just degree but uh, you you must like join a certain course, for example you interesting in digital marketing, there are many 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 uh, uh, learning uh, company that uh, offering uh, certain certification, but as you know that uh, we don't know what happened in the next. Uh, uh, some of experts said that ijazah itu nggak berguna lagi katanya, and company don't uh, melihat lagi uh, kita dari universitas mana gitu. I mean that uh, you must uh, it, alert ya yeah, bahasa C, uh, C, uh, Ross tadi alert uh, waspada gitu what changes in the future dan kita ya harus uh, siap gitu what changes in the future mungkin kita nggak perlu untuk kuliah kita perlu sesuatu yang lain gitu nah this is uh, like exploration what happen in the future so you can secure uh, your career, yeah, you can grow your career uh, because you have like adaptation, uh, adaptation capability to always adapt with the environment changing. Okay. I think this is my answer. <laughs> it's good answer. Okay, closing remark one, two minutes from Ceros and then from uh, Bu Diana, and I hope you can to continue collaboration after this uh, first uh, meet and introduce. Okay, closing remark. One, okay. two, one, two minutes. Okay, terima uh, kasih, uh, Paul. And then the organizations handle this uh, program, this very good program. Okay, and, and then, uh, Paul, before I, uh, I say something, Paul, I just would like to uh, inform you all 
Okay, as I agree with um, uh, Diana just now said that uh, currently uh, we sometimes we have we we see lots of companies uh, consultant companies come out. Okay, as uh, last week we have uh, one company come to in our universities uh, promote to us about the uh, certified business consultant, which is a collaboration with the international collaborations all over the world. Okay, which is good. That's why I say is. Is now we just focus on the short term punya course certified mm. being certified you can so there will be enhanced mm. capabilities currently okay mm. so that's our exposure now lah okay and then uh, for the closing thank you very much prof and the common committees to invite us as a speakers and I'm so sorry prof to keep change the schedule okay I'm very sorry no uh in futures we can do a collaborations again okay. Please anytime. Uh, then hopefully I go. I also can invite you all join to our university in the speakers and with our programs. Okay, and then thank you very much for the students for support this uh, program. Okay, hopefully uh, we can do collaborations again. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Okay, Bu Diana. Thank you. Yes, I think uh, the answer. My answer uh, for the hari question is uh, the, also the closing. Just to emphasize that hmm. uh, kita itu sekarang nggak ada suatu kapabilitas itu yang bisa lasting gitu ya, yang bisa lasting. It's always changing. Maka sebenarnya uh, kemampuan yang paling penting itu adalah kemampuan adaptasi. Tadi hmm. melihat apa yang sedang berkembang uh, di uh, luar. Kalau dulu kita diajarin kita harus punya fondasi yang kuat. Kalau sekarang di era yang sangat berubah itu kita harus bisa hidup seperti tenda. Yang hmm. karena kita harus berubah dengan cepat gitu ya harus harus berubah hmm. dengan apa yang benar-benar sekarang ini gitu. Itu yang membuat kita akan sukses. Thank you semuanya, Sama -sama. Uh, for the students.